morning my beautiful friends and welcome back to another video in today's video i am just going to show you everything i ate for dinner this week first of all i am starting with some chickpeas olive oil nutritional yeast garlic powder and paprika which i mixed together and then popped onto a baking tray and into the oven to roast whilst they were roasting i made some dressing with some cashew milk mustard vegan mayonnaise and lemon and mix that all together. Then in a frying pan I fried up some sun-dried tomatoes which are my absolute favorite at the moment and then I chopped up some cos lettuce into relatively small pieces before serving it into a bowl with some spinach leaves as well. I then put the dressing on, mixed that all together and then chopped up my fried sun-dried tomatoes into small pieces before putting it on top. Then I also served with some roasted chickpeas more dressing on top, some cashew parmesan, and then that is what I had for dinner this evening. Moving on to the next day, and I first of all started by chopping some sweet potato into disc-shaped pieces and then putting them onto a lined baking tray with some olive oil and into the oven to roast. Then I made some guacamole with just some avocado as well as some spring onion which I absolutely love, some lemon juice and then I mixed that all together and I also added in some salt and pepper as well. Then I put some black beans into a frying pan with some paprika and some garlic powder and fried that all together. Then in my blender I put some cashews, nutritional yeast, lemon juice and garlic as well as some water. And I blended that all together, but then it wasn't really a good consistency, so I added in some almonds to thicken it up a bit. Once it was nice and thick, I then put the sweet potatoes as well as black beans, guacamole, the cashew sour cream that I had made, and some sesame seeds onto a plate, and that's what I had for dinner tonight. Moving on to the next day, and then I roasted some sweet potatoes in the oven as per usual until they were nice and caramelized. Once they were all done, I peeled the skin off, put all of the sweet potato into a bowl and mashed it all together. I then added in some gluten-free flour and mixed it together until it was the perfect consistency to make gnocchi because that's what we're making today. This was so good. I'm like really excited watching it back. <laughs> anyway, once I'd rolled all of the sweet potato mixture into balls, I just put them into some boiling water until they floated to the top. Then in a frying pan, I put some sun-dried tomatoes as well as the oil from the sun-dried tomatoes into a pan and I fried up my sweet potato gnocchi in that. So basically it was like infused with sun-dried tomato. You get what I'm saying? Anyway, I served it with some cashew parmesan on top and this was hands down my favorite dinner of the week. Moving on to the next day and I first of all started by putting some olive oil into a pan and then I just put some frozen greens into the pan with it as well as some soy sauce. This dinner by the way is like the epitome of lazy dinner for me. Then in a separate sauce pan I just put some flax seeds, sesame seeds and sunflower seeds and I fried them all up like so basically. Then I served with some rice noodles, my green veggies of course, as well as the seeds that I had toasted and that was my really, really easy, lazy dinner tonight. I seriously love this so, so much. Moving on to the next day and I first of all started with sweet potato again. You guys know me by now. I love my sweet potato. I put some olive oil as well as some cashew parmesan and then roasted this in the oven. Whilst it was roasting, I chopped up some cos lettuce and put this into a container because I was taking it to work this evening. Then I put some creamy mustard dressing as well as some leftover roasted chickpeas, my sweet potato, some avocado and some sesame seeds. And that was just a really easy throw together dinner to take to work with me. Moving on and we are starting with a couple of cans of lentils into a bowl which I'm mincing up with my hands like so. I then added in some almond meal as well as some flax meal, some bolognese herbs, paprika and olive oil and I mixed this all together. I then also added in some fresh garlic because I love garlic so much. I think it makes basically anything taste better. Then with some puff pastry, 
I rolled this all together to make some lentil sausage rolls. I was taking these lentil sausage rolls to a potluck to share with my friends. As you can see, I just cooked them in the oven and put them into a container. When I was at the potluck, I also ate some of these potato chips, bread and strawberries, a salad that my friend made, and of course, chocolate chip cookies because I love cookies so, so, so much. And yeah, this is a plate of what I ate that evening. Moving on, and we are starting with lentils again, which I am mincing up in my hands. You guys have seen me do this many a times by now. I then added in some bolognese herbs as well as some salt, two flax eggs, and then mix this all together. Then I rolled them into little meatballs like so and roasted them in the oven. I then made this creamy mustard sauce just with some vegan aioli, some mustard, some garlic, nutritional yeast, and some almond milk, and I just mixed that all together like so. Then in a pan, I just heated up a can of tomatoes before moving on to my toasted bread, which I put some vegan butter onto as well as some rocket. The tomatoes I just warmed up, the lentil meatballs I just made, as well as some more tomato on top and of course the creamy mustard sauce. And that concludes my week of vegan dinners. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.